Hi, Taurus, and welcome to your August 2024 read. All right, this read is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Past Life Oracle, let's see. Karmic Thread for your month for what we're learning this time from another lifetime. Persecution, persecution and Inquisition, right? Having to having to, um, I'm hearing, having to um, fight for your own rights, big time, fighting for your own, your own rights, um, being persecuted for the wrong thing, right? The, the Spanish Inquisition may have something that's tied to your um, heritage. Okay. This person doesn't look happy, right? They have they have had to which it, it could it could stream into your life, your day your day to day as I'm always having to defend myself. I'm always having to prove, you know, that I didn't do this or that or that I really did mean to do a good thing or uh, my intentions are good, right? Always having to defend yourself because people may not trust and or believe. It could very well be you. All right, let's go. Four of Wands, right? Some of you are waiting to sell your home. Here you are. Some of you could sell your home or you're waiting for money. Uh, uh, for a home, you could have just put your home up for sale and you have bidders, different people bidding. Now, of course, depends on where you're at, right? Where you live, it depends on, you know, the real estate. It's, it, it is, it, it feels like it's, yeah, it's a, it's a home or it could be your, um, renting out. You, let's just put it. You're up here, okay? You could be renting out your place. I've, I've said this before to you guys in the last few months. Maybe you haven't been really sure as to how much you want, you know, to charge for rental. Your property is a rental property. It's a summer home, right? And or you may be you know, you could be the manager of, you know, of B&B &B and putting the listing out there for people to bite and it's happening. If it's not a rental property, it is your property where you live. You're looking to sell your home and waiting maybe for the right offer to come in and or amount. You're waiting for someone who's, okay, if it is a rental property, you're waiting for the right person that's going to come in and, and you're going to know in your heart of hearts that this person has the money to give you month to month so you don't have to worry about, oh my God, are they going to pay me this month? So they, you're, some of you are researching um, candidates per se for as to whether or not they're capable financially of you know, renting your property and making sure that they're going to pay up. All right, let's go. Very nice. Really nice. Okay, so some of you are leaving your home. You're selling. Um, I'm going to put this over here. So some of you definitely are selling your home and looking for the right price and or people you're getting a lot of activity, which is great. Because, okay, some of you, you've, you're have you no longer in a relationship, someone's moving out, maybe you're looking for just a regular renter on a monthly basis, maybe you left a committed relationship and, you know, and now it's like, okay, 
I got to find somewhere to supplement that income. Yeah, someone moved out. Look, someone moved out. This could be a beach house because this is the beach and the ocean. It could be, like I said, definitely a summer home. I feel someone may have sprung it on you that they wanted out. Just saying. Not all. Some of you were waiting for them to move out so that you could entertain others and or prime candidates to be renters and or buyers. Yeah, someone's getting divorced here. Divorce, maybe with kids. Some of you, it's, yeah. You're healing over a separation. You're healing over a divorce. Some of you have kids or and or your animals are your kids, right? Because when I say kids, that includes our animals. Some of you are still paying child support and or alimony. And I'm not sure if I think that could be stopping. You may be saying, listen, I can't pay anymore. And now some of you, oh my God, you're like, you know what? I'm moving on. If you are divorced or if you have gotten divorced, you find new love right here. Yeah, this, okay, so, wow. All right, I'm gonna say that some of you didn't want the divorce or they didn't. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for sure. Let's look at the Ace of Cups real quick. Yeah, look at that. The Judgment. With the Justice card, you're definitely getting divorced. This is a divorce. I feel that you, you or someone else thought this was a match made in heaven, for sure. But it wasn't. Some of you are already out mingling, prowling, what have you, on Tinder, and maybe you have been dating a lot because of it. If you have, if you're still not sure about whether or not the divorce is going to like go through and be finalized, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I think some of you want another chance. Like, we're not going to sugarcoat it, right? I feel some of you don't want someone to move out. You don't want them to, you don't want to get divorced. But some of you already have, and you're missing this person right there. Like I said, two kids, two dogs, whatever. We have this reversed because it is going to cost you. Some of you got involved or got involved with someone who just wanted like the um you know the um what's the word I'm looking for spirit not just the finances they wanted the accolades thank you you and or them are missing one another and that's the truth the truth is that you're missing someone that has left. You got you got divorced. You're thinking about them. You didn't want this to get to end, or they didn't. You had to put your boundaries up. It could be a work situation too. I'm just saying I felt it just now. Some of you could have, look at that, oh my gosh. So when you look deep inside, I'm telling you, someone did not realize who they were dealing with and or vice versa. The fear of letting go of toxic relationships. I still think with the Ace of Cups, with the Ten of Cups, this was in love. 
I feel someone really thought they were something more than, like Aries Leo Sag thought, oh yeah, they're always going to be around. And they cut off ties. And or you knew it was toxic and you had to leave and look at your Seven of Cups comes back around as the same. What does that mean? It means someone's on the prowl and out looking for, let's just say, business or, and or pleasure of the same. I say the same because, look it, there you are. There you are. Okay. The decision to start dating again. The decision to find a replacement. Some of you don't want or haven't wanted this to end. See? Some of you want to balance out the scales with this person, but I don't believe it's possible. Let's look at this side real quick. Holding back. Someone just got was in it for money. I'm going to tell you. It was about the money. You know, when someone hangs on you for money and or you, them, it's just not good. You're not talking to this person. And spirit already showed you, this, gave you the sign. The signs of it's time to free yourself. Because all this is is a big fight one after another. Who's right? Who's wrong? Who did what to who? Right? Someone could be married. And here's the empress. So, I feel you didn't, you did not want this to end. Here's the wheel. I, okay, some of you um, were more worried not about losing them, but about having to cut your losses financially with this person. This is the divorce. Yeah, it's going to cost me so much damn money. So now you're waiting for it to what? To finalize. This is waiting for the divorce to finalize. Leo Aries Sag reversed. Leo Aries Sag. Where did she go? Or he go? Yes. Where did the Leo Aries Sag go? Hold on. Hold on. Right here. This person. Oh my God. All right. Now I made a mess. All right, this person, okay, this is a real, a very, a common thread. There's a common thread of dealing with a Leo Aries Sag. So Aries did have a very similar read. It was different. You may want to check it out because it was similar because of the fact that Aries was in it and the devil came out as well in their read as yours. Actually, it was the strength reversed in Aries. But in yours, it's the literal devil here. Someone, you know, for some of you, they're big, the biggest fear of, of being in a, a bond or a relationship is, you know, the fear of someone leaving. Someone could have been accused of stealing money, taking money, being in it just for the money. And or, like I said, you know, King of Pentacles, that's you. And you have the Five of Pentacles. You knew and or you know that the loss of the money in a divorce case or whatever was going to be an issue, right? This is not or was not an equal relationship at all. So... What do we do, right? We go out searching again. Yep. So, Taurus, you're left to your own devices. I'm just going to say it because you need to listen to Aries. 
reading because you might have been involved with an Aries, right? Because this, as was Aries, there was, there is a flavor of someone wanting just what looks good on the outside and didn't see what was really on the inside of someone, right? Someone's true colors came out and you had to detach from this because it was no longer serving your highest good and or theirs. So someone had to go to battle. You've had fights constantly, right? This could be you, the father figure. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, definitely dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, right? And the divorce, someone doesn't want the divorce. Someone lied, cheated, stole. Someone didn't want it, but it looked so good. Yeah, so you're carrying the weight of the world because of this. I'm just saying, let me just do one thing. Oh, they want me to go to this. Let me take the devil card with the king and the queen. Hold on. Like this person on the outside looks really good. You know, someone got played. All right, let's look at the devil with the king and queen of uh, wands. Okay, someone was hung out to dry. Someone got hung out to dry. Let's just take three cards. Yep. There's healing involved. Now look at this. Look at this. I'm not kidding you. Look at this, they're naked. The body is just the physical. What's the internal essence of one's heart is where we must look to find our happiness. Someone was showing up as, I look amazing. Like we're like the best looking couple, right? And then all shit, all hell breaks loose. Look at that. Oh my God. Spirit said, get out now while you can. I'm not kidding. Being used for money, using others for money, being attached, codependent on the coattails of another because of sex, they look good, they're young, whatever. I'm sorry, Taurus. Spirit said, I cannot have you dealing with this. Generations. And there is what? There is the thread. Your ancestral lineage of generation to to, from one generation to the next, it is there to teach us not to presumably fall into the arms of something that may just look good on the outside and isn't so that you can elevate yourself and get out of literally and help the generations to come by cutting ties with this person. It's almost like it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what it's like. It's like if you've ever dealt with smog, right? Or a fog where you can't see in front of you or it's so you can't breathe really well, right? And then you go to a destination or a place where it's like oh my god I can breathe again definitely you have been you escaped some massive energies of someone being codependent on you just wanting you for your looks, your money, etc. 
and or you them. I mean, you know, it happens. All right, let me just pull one more card real quick. I'm trying to keep these to, kind of to a minimum here. Okay, devil with Archangel Michael as the chariot. Look at cutting them out, cutting them out. They lied, they cheated, they stole, they accused, they persecuted. Yeah, and there you are. It was like, that's it. I feel like you're still, I feel because this is you, I, I really feel that it's time for you to move on and cut your losses, but you're still harboring some emotional issues that need to get cleansed, right? Let's just clear this out real quick, okay? Learn our lessons and move on, definitely move on from this it's no it's not serving you any good and you can see i just keep going <laughs> okay even if there is a child involved or animals involved okay all right have a great month comment below i love you so take care